Welcome back to Density Dad, where we talk about smart growth, style, and everyday solutions for dads. And today we're gonna talk about my favorite bag, the Tom Ben Median Cafe bag. This company has a cult following. The bag itself is always popular in the Reddit threads. And I wanna talk about it on how I use it from dad trips to taking it you know, to work, taking it co-working, taking it to cafes. And it has never failed me as far as being a bag that needs to do most of everything I toss at it. I will say I'm in a market for a smaller sling pouch for like, you know, farmer's market trips. But other than that, this bag is it. So let's talk about it. I have the Tom Ben Medium Cafe bag in this Woodland camo, which is no longer available. Um, I will say definitely sign up for their newsletter. They'll let you know if they restock. But the awesome thing about Tom Ben is they really do these limited edition variants, if you will, that they almost never replace. So you may have to look on eBay, um, but I went with the camo. For me, camos play as a neutral, so I never have to worry about whether it'll match my outfit. Um, pretty much anything I toss on, I can throw this bag on and look completely fine and in place. So you do get this heavy duty buckle. Again, not something I got to worry about breaking anytime soon. You do have a strap and an anti-slip. I will say that if you wear it on one shoulder like I do, it will slip from time to time. So crossbody is probably the best. I am looking for maybe in a way to wrap this in like a leather alternative so that I can actually like carry it on one arm. I just like to carry it like that. The back has a quick draw um, section where I'll keep napkins, I'll keep wipes, I'll keep snacks, I'll keep anything I just need to grab really uh, quickly. And this part is against your back, so you don't really have to worry about it just, you know, slipping out. This is also where I will keep diapers and quick access items like that that can go flat. On the inside, anything I need to keep from the elements. This does fit my M1 MacBook Air, so the 2020 version, it fits in here just fine. I've also been able to place my mouse, keyboard, and any other desktop accessories in here if I'm doing like a co-working loadout or I'm working you know, remote. And then I've also been able to put things like you know, an iPod, my in-ear monitors, my AirPods, all those type of accessories fit in the smaller pouches and then you get some pin slots in here as well. And then you also have the zipper section. The zipper section, I, I normally keep anything that is like a little on the looser end. So like um, business cards and stickers and things I can just quickly grab in there. Um, I could probably do a better job at like utilizing this space. Sometimes I'll put like a really light jacket or another bag if I'm going to somewhere where I know I'm gonna want an additional bag. So like a Bagu, if you're familiar with that brand. But this bag is the bag. I've just never had any issues with it being not enough. You know, I don't, I didn't want a backpack. I didn't want a briefcase. I wanted something that fit my needs and looked awesome. And I know this bag is going to look great for a while. And it's something I hope to one day pass on to, you know, my kids. And so um, the medium cafe bag also has options for an organizer. If you're into that, but I just wanted to put a different bag. I always see Evergoods and all the other brands out there. And it's those bags can get pretty expensive. This bag is just $86 as of the time of the recording. And I just think that you can't go wrong with the bag that really checks all the boxes for a dad bag, a creative bag, a maker's bag, or just a bag that you want to be able to have all your everyday carry in. So Definitely stay tuned to the channel for more reviews on products that I actually use in everyday life. Um, but hopefully y'all are starting to get an idea of what we offer on this channel. While we'll really talk about some of the urbanism uh, aspects of the built environment, we also would just talk about how to be more efficient. And when you are out on your bicycle and you don't have a car, you kind of want to be able to have everything you need and backpacks can lead to a sweaty back. And so I'm able to often put this either crossbody and ride it or I put this inside of my Brompton tea bag whenever I'm traveling to a place and it fits just fine. And so I'm able to take it out, put that on my crossbody and then use the tea bag for additional storage. Until next time, cut loose.